My vision is really just taking unused space and turning it into something productive. You hear, you know, a lot of people complaining about mowing their lawn or just, you know, they have too much junk in their yard and, you know, we want to use that, use all that empty space and with existing infrastructure so we can, you know, grow food and, and it's an easy way for us young guys or old, old, like uh, older friends and uh, people in the community to get involved in agriculture or even just growing food for themselves. We really want it to be a uh, a place of inspiration, you know, so people can see the food growing right in their community, right in their city, and be like, wow, that is, that is something beautiful, and I want to be a part of that, and kind of take, take more control and leadership of that side of their life, and that side of their diet, and their kitchen. I mean, it started out really small. Our landlords, uh, they were renting a place at the time, this place, actually, and uh, they knew we, were, we wanted to get into spin farming and that was the first issue was just like okay where do we find all this land and there's so much land around like there's so many backyards and uh, empty lots but it's acquiring that so it was the it was the first lot that made the difference and they're like yeah you know of course you guys can use our space and as soon as we had one then other people are like okay these guys like aren't just a c crazy group of friends like growing weird things in my backyard they're actually like really serious and want to make this change happen so, you know, it was just a waterfall effect from there. Now other people are like, okay, I like that. So let me get this straight. You guys come in and do all the work and I get a look out to this beautiful oasis of food and I get free food out of it and I don't have to mow my lawn anymore. Like it's just a, a kind of a no brainer. And some of these people, you know, they've had like, it's been a big cleanup, right? So they just have junk and pallets and bricks and rocks in their yard. So we really cleaned that up and, and, may, and people in the community are just like, oh, thank you. Like we've had to look at that eyesore for so long and now, you know, we're switching it into food. And, you know, that's just really nice just to be walking past these yards and be like, that is beautiful. And like we've also put a lot of work into the soil. We have um, a guy named Mike Dorian with Living Soil Solutions come and spray our plots once a week with a compost tea spray. So that's really just adding tons of uh, nutrients and uh, microbial activity into the soil because a lot of it is just so drained either from, you know, who knows what's been happening in the past or just, you know, over usage of and not giving back to the soil. So yeah, we really, really think it's important to just leave the land a lot better than what we found it okay. and just creating little slices of paradise along the way.